how to do really calming things. So typically, like this most recent summer season, I went to Vancouver Island and did some exploration to get inspired to do some landscape painting. And this one behind me here is a Whistler. Um, I started watching Thomas Heaton because he was uh, traveling to Scotland to the most report, remote uh, islands in Scotland and I found that really intriguing and I've watched his program a number of times and I find uh, his approach to be very calming. It's definitely not a new show where um, you know emotions and awareness gets very heightened and I wanted something that was more calming and typically I also watch Adam Gibbs who is a landscape photographer here in Canada he's from Yorkshire England originally and he was a garden uh, magazine photographer and he is an international photographer and I watched his program a number of times and also the comedic a uh, landscape photographer Gavin Hardcastle who was on Vancouver Island but he left in his partner they left uh, for Nova Scotia so I found myself looking for content that I found very calming and the Scottish landscape really caught my attention and I thought it was very calming to watch and um, Thomas Heaton, he is an internationally renowned photographer and I have his calendar so I happened to watch um, an episode where his calendars became available at a very affordable price so I was one of the early birds that managed to get a Thomas Heaton calendar, he signed it and uh, there's some lovely scenery at the back and a little bit of his bio here so this is a definite collector's item and I felt that's the least I could do was make an investment into Thomas Heaton's work because I've watched so many of his shows and even the shows are sponsored and the content is free I feel it's important to support the artist whenever possible so he put it in an affordable price range that I could actually do it so that was really excellent and uh, as bonus Thomas uh, also sent this really beautiful print and typically he doesn't send prints um, what he was doing uh, during the summer season was going to locations near to where uh, him and his wife lives um, and taking photographs with a Lomo camera and capturing really really cool scenes so he was sending these little um, what do you call it those Polaroids of some of the Lomo work he's done so he must have ran out <laughs> <laughs> and I think as a beautiful uh, bonus addition, he sent me, I thought it was a skyscape, because it looks like there's a lot of stars, but it also looks like snow, which is all I need in Canada, I see enough of it. Well, here I'm on the coast, and mostly I see a lot of rain, and during January February we do see some snow <laughs> but anyhow I think it's a very nice sentiment thank you so much Thomas Heaton your work is beyond brilliant I've always admired his work and also his colleagues that are Adam Gibb and Gavin Hardcastle they're world-renowned landscape photographers and I do watch them to get tips and information because I have to do the most basic photography when I'm on location myself when I'm doing painting to kind of take notes of the composition and also to scout a good composition um, I do paint on location but sometimes uh, just for portability sake I, I, I have traveled around in vans with different artists but also too hauling that much equipment is too much so I just basically take a sketchbook or watercolor pad 
do a quick painting and that's it and then I have to translate it over to the studio so I do use photographs as a reference for ideas sometimes what I'll do is I can put three different images into one painting so yeah I'm a great admirer of Thomas Heaton's work because it not only encompasses the glow but he does a really good rendering of capturing the UK and there are hundreds of photographers um, in landscape photographers uh, from the UK uh, I, I think it's some kind of phenomena <laughs> with them but just as there are many uh, visual artists so I really enjoy his work because I have a deep appreciation of the landscape and it's very intriguing to watch him trip around in his van or just in an instant fly off to the Rockies and you know do um, a photo shoot with his colleagues so it's amazing to watch and I'm really glad that uh, that content is sponsored so we can get some really good high-end quality uh, photos and see the world if there's you know there's travel bans placed on so many of us including myself as just restricted to one zone and it really stifles a uh, person's creativity when that happens so I hope at some point that I'll be well enough to do some international travel and go as an artist on residence on retreat um, I'm kind of Hoping for Banff and then also in Manitoba is really interesting too. Um, there are a lot of really good hidden gems of uh, landscapes if you're a landscape painter. To go on an uh, artist retreat that you can get on into one of these places and go for at least a minimum of a couple weeks to a month and just really take in the place and uh, get into the scenery there and come up with some some work and a lot of musicians and writers also do that it just kind of innovates creativity when you're in a different location so I've enjoyed there's just so many places here in BC I'm really attracted to Alberta as well so I'll see what um, is up and coming but I wanted to share with you this calendar experience because Thomas Heaton also inspired me. Um, and in the respect to he's a go-getter, he's very ambitious, and that inspired me to print my first book, which is a Western Canada. And I procrastinated, I'm not certain why, maybe the costs involved, because the cost to produce it actually I'm not really making much of a profit margin that I do you know that I do sell it and I've only made one copy so far so it's trying to find a printer that you know just like quality of Thomas Heaton's work um, that you know is within um, a decent price point because this is very very high-end paper you can tell and he is meticulous and that's really important because you want to you know you're putting your name on it you want to give your clients the best quality as you possibly can and uh, that's a challenge sometimes especially in this day and age so I'm very with much respect I'm going to enjoy this 20 23 calendar and also I look forward to uh, whatever exciting adventures I can do in, in, with painting and creating art and design. Alright, have a good one and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.